Hey guys, so just wanted to give you a little update on the timeline of what we've been up to the last five, six months here in Costa Rica since the borders closed in March to now them being open again and us getting ready for the start of the season in November when our dry season starts. So it was a camp that we had in March and we were halfway through the camp and I'd been monitoring things with the spread of COVID uh, in Europe and internationally. And on March 18th, halfway through a camp where we had six campers, um, two from Europe and then four from the States, um, Costa Rica announced that the borders were closing. And this wasn't a huge surprise, but kind of happened fast. So that was midway through the week. Um, they were able to get out of the country. We were handling all that. And that was like when our new reality really started to sink in, where we were closed to international tourists. And then it was just a waiting game. And I knew it wouldn't open up anytime soon. Anyone that was following the virus uh, would have known that. That's not breaking news. But we didn't know how long. We didn't know what would happen, how it would run its course. And here we are, I'm recording this uh, mid-September. Costa Rica officially opened its borders to Americans, to US citizens, uh, September 1st, uh, to 12 states, and now it's 15 states mid-September. And we anticipate the entire United States by uh, the end of October. But really, we'll see, but we're very hopeful the way things are going with discussions, people, uh, on the tourism board of Costa Rica and just international developments. So borders closed in March. We finished our last camp. Uh, it was a great week as usual. Uh, you can see in the video in pictures that I'm showing you here. And uh, then it was just a waiting game. Luckily, it kind of happened towards the end of our season where the, the dry season starts wrapping up in April. So we were able to get to, to mid-March, um, we did miss, I had to cancel about five camps. Um, and then we've had almost no inquiries for, you know, the first four months after the closure because there was so much uncertainty. And then in the last two months, we've been starting to get a lot of people interested coming back down to Costa Rica to get a vacation, kind of escape a little bit of the madness and visit us here in the beautiful jungle and empty lineups. So. I just kind of went into a hibernation mode. It didn't really make sense to, to message you guys or to post too much because we were just waiting and, and dealing with uh, the pandemic. And then we started to see light at the end of the tunnel uh, in the last couple months and now we're open. So I was just surfing a lot, doing a lot of shortboarding actually. I really enjoy this new challenge. It's, it's new to me. I have not shortboarded much in my life and it wasn't really until I moved to Costa Rica three years ago that I got into it and it really complements my stand-up surfing and I'm kind of moving because I'm getting bit by mosquitoes here in the middle of the wet season we we tend to have a lot of those suckers I got a good one <laughs> there's my blood and uh, but dry season don't worry we don't have nearly as many mosquitoes actually none at all so, so don't worry about that um, so I've just been shortboarding a lot and uh, at first our beaches were closed. So our beaches were closed to any kind of surfing anything for I think three months. But don't tell anyone, I was going out like 4 a.m. in the dark uh, for a few sessions just to maintain my sanity and I was in basically uh, right around sunrise. <laughs> so I was doing uh, some of my sessions in the dark and then at twilight or uh, or I'm sorry dawn uh, coming in um, that was uh, a good stress reliever during those times and uh, continues to be now but now I'm surfing completely legally um, in broad daylight and then uh, kind of just surfing a lot shortboarding and then in August I took a exploratory trip to southern Costa Rica um, for blue zone foil surf where I was foiling some amazing spots. Um, 
that I've had my eye on I actually foiled last summer but I wanted to check out more and I was able to do that in August for nearly three weeks and also did a fair amount of surfing so amazing spots and excited to share more details of that in the future and now here we are mid-September and we're booking people for the upcoming season um, it's obviously things are not normal as I said in the previous video we're taking a lot of precautions everything possible to make sure you feel safe once you're here um, and that we are COVID safe uh, with our clients and campers obviously most of the time we're on the water when we're interacting uh, obviously we'll be keeping distance uh, masks are super important and and yeah just being healthy eating healthy exercising being on the water that's all going to be great for your for your health your your immune system um, it's really to me vitamin C uh, being out in the ocean uh, one of the best medicines you can be giving yourself now so that's just a little bit about what I've been up to and we can't wait to welcome you down to Costa Rica uh, for the start of our season in November check out our websites send me an email if you have any questions of course we're offering full COVID related refunds if there's a COVID related uh, restriction um, we don't anticipate that but just so you can feel comfortable putting down a deposit coming down to visit us here in Costa Rica. So thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna get out of the jungle here, get these mosquitoes off of me and uh, come down to Costa Rica. We hope to see you down here and on the water.